Hey. Yo, yo. What's up? What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm going doing good. What's your so what's your morning been like? Oh my god, it's been so crazy. Yeah. But you know what's this you, is the you? highlight of it. This is the highlight of it. Is the highlight. Getting to hang out with you. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so 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 um so how's been uh, how 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 have we been doing this pandemic? Are you like tired of seeing me? No, not at all. You know, I was just thinking about it. so crazy that you brought that up. I was just thinking about that. How okay. you know, we could have taken this pandemic and, you know, I mean real easily I could have went and sat on the couch and ate snacks and watched movies. The whole pandemic, you know? Right. Right. But you got me going. You know, you're oh, yeah. always doing a project. You're always working on something. So you got me motivated, good. you know? Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, you know what? There's a lot of opportunities uh, we have now nowadays with the digital technology. There's a lot of cool apps that are out there and I I love them. I I I explore them all the time. I'm always getting on them. I'm always I'm always talking about them, you know. I I'm I've subscribed to a lot of social media. You know, a lot of them I, I don't even use. I just go on there and I kind of like I kind of vibe with them for a little bit, try to see what they're about yeah. and uh uh but I, i'm a fan of it man you know you know what it is too you know what it is too you know what it is too huh what what did you say i said you know there's real... one thing that you said there's one thing that you said it resonated with me what was that where you said don't go into this pan don't come out of this pandemic the way you went in right well if that you, was if that... you invent yourself right well that was my thing i i, I honestly <clears throat> If we had this much time to think. You know, listen, we deal with freestyle. Well, it's a struggle. I love the genre. I love the genre. I appreciate it. It's done a lot for me. I love the artists, even the ones that don't love me. Um uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I really do. I have there's a certain level of passion, and it's not really about the music. It really isn't about the music because you know how many right. times people swear that I'm like a freestyle encyclopedia. right and and people will will text me and something hey la hey this is a song man and, and and it goes by this and it, this the who sung that you know i'm like oh shit right where i got a text mm-hmm. fernando or somebody said yo man who's who yeah. sung the song so so I, so what is it is it the community what is it that gets you yes it, it, you know what it's uh, the pre- it's the culture and and a lot of people the don't culture. look at it yeah a lot of people don't look at it like that i look at it so different sometimes i have a hard time articulating as far as what it is that i see You know, um mm-hmm. I look at the hip hop culture and it really is a culture and freestyle really is a culture. You got to realize it's an actual machine. It's an actual machine just like hip hop is. You know, it it has it has producers, it has writers, it creates music, there's promoters, there's you know labels that put it out, there's distributors that put it out, there's radio stations that supported it. I mean, it's a machine. Oh, I agree. And it, I agree, but and, but and the difference and is the difference is hip hop gave birth to new artists whereas freestyle hasn't given given birth to new artists. I don't know about that. I don't know Where about that. Where the new artists? There Where are the a artists? lot. See, this is this is what what happens, right? So we see a lot of new artists that come out. This is the problem. This is what people mm-hmm. see. A lot of the mm-hmm. artists are older artists. They're older artists. They're they're not oh, okay. kids. Okay, they're saying. not they're not yeah, they're not kids, you know. So yeah, we're getting 50 year old brand new artists. This is 50 right. year old but I'm not saying this as a diss. I actually appreciate it because this is what we're about. You see right. we're that we're that genre that still gives hope to those of an of a of a of a of a an older generation. What other genre right. does that? You're not going to find a a 50 year old person still out there trying to be a rapper. We right. still have the ability to give that hope because Artists have started in this genre at 40 years old and been able to hit the stages and share the stages with, you know, you and Stevie and Suzy and you know what I mean? That's that's unheard right. of for a young hip hop dude for, for really a hip hop dude that's already his prime, you know, to go out and 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 perform with the greats. We we've been able to give that. And a lot of people laugh at it and I laughed at it for a minute. I'm not going to lie. 
I looked at it and it, it was, there was a time I thought it was silly. I looked at it, I was like, damn, man, it's freaking guys, man. This dude's like 55 years old, man. He's just, he's a new school artist. I'm like, what? No, but, no I get what you're saying. I get what yeah. you're saying, but it's a lot like salsa. You could be any age and put out work, but, but they did, their, but they did let in their younger artists, which was India, which was Mark Anthony, Brenda K. Starr. You know, you had these younger artists that came out in the genre right. and they embraced them. Where right. are the younger artists in, in freestyle? Where well, are that's, they? That's where we, this is where we have to come in. And this is why, you know, you know, with the, to the topic of, of this discussion itself, you know, it says freestyle music and social media. You got to realize that social media always begins with a new audience. It's, it's for, it was created for kids. All of them, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. They've been created for kids. What happened was the grownups went in there, hijacked it. It's, you mm -hmm. know, Facebook, MySpace was all kids that was grownups. When the, when the grownups step into the medium and they hijack it, what happens? The kids leave and they go somewhere else. Look at TikTok. I did a TikTok right. that's based on that. Everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I know that was so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's true. You kill and me with that dance. You, you kill me with that dance. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, but listen, and, and I learned that because I had a teenage daughter who, right. you know, as soon as I got on to a platform that she was on, you know, it was over. She was like, yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. You know, and I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the listeners though too. Now, now Santana, too. Santana gets on those platforms. Yeah, but Santana yeah. was your TikTok partner. <laughs> Yeah, but still, she's cool. She's still okay with it. Because I get on the TikTok with her, and she's cool with it. You know what I mean? When she gets older, she's going to be like, oh, no. No, please. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a part of it. But, you know, but but the thing is, you know, going back to, like, the, the a younger generation of freestyle artists. Now, that is, believe it or not, the key. It really is. Yeah, not I agree. Meaning, not meaning we shouldn't support anyone else. Listen, I don't support people just to support people. If I love your music, if I like what you're doing, and I at least appreciate the hustle, I got you. Right, I appreciate the hustle. You. I'm one of I those people that appreciate the yeah, hustle. I support you, and I'll, I'll, I'll root for you. And you could be 60 years old with your first record, and I'll root for you because I see what you're doing. Yeah. And I've done it yeah. numerous, numerous times. The only thing is that that's not going to do anything for the genre. It's great right. for that particular artist. And I love right. that with this genre, we're able to do that, that we're able to provide that. You know, people look at it wrong. I don't. I look at it so much different than what other people, how other people are looking at it. You know, I don't look at it as like, oh man, you know, no, this is what we're about. You know, this is, this is part, we're not hip hop. We're not house music, we're not rock. This is us and we come with our own rules. We have our own rules and you know what, allowing, older freestyle artists to come in and, and come on let them give it a shot what the hell it's not like they're going to take your spot if you're worried about them taking your spot then you you you're not doing your job you know right but embrace you know let them go in yes there are some that are whack as hell but they're also but there's, but there's a lot that are really good yeah and it's almost yeah, like now, they, it's, it's almost like they just didn't get their chance back in the day right right and now right, is their chance to show their talent Right. And there's an opportunity. Yeah. Why? Social media. Right. See, social media made a lot of people accessible. It made artists mm -hmm. accessible. It made promoters accessible, agents accessible. Uh, mm -hmm. The promoters. Now, listen, me as an agent, my, the job is almost obsolete. Like, why do they need me? Like, a lot of the promoters can go directly to the artist. Is it that a good idea? No, it's really not. Yeah, but it's not smooth sailing like that. It's not it's smooth sailing. No, not always. And I've, I've never seen, I've always seen where there's been there's been issues with that. And I'm not saying just me as an agent, but there's other agents. Salvatello's an agent. There's freaking, there's Lena Music's an agent. He, hey, 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 hey. He who what? should not be named. <laughs> but listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that... But that, but what I'm trying to say is that the, you know, the work is abundant. It really is. You know, they're really. I've, I've never been worried about, you know, that kind of competition. If anything, I, I think it's important for the genre. You look at something like hip hop. There's thousands of agents. There's right. thousands of promoters. Like they're not worried about the competition. If anything, the competition worked in their favor. Right. We're worried about what three freaking agents. 
No, nah, the yeah. best man's always going to win. That's just what. Four, that's four just, promoters, three agents. That's what. And a pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know. Yeah. But now you know. But now we have you know. We, we, you know, and that's what I'm saying. You know, I wanted to talk about you know social media and the impact, and and, and I wanted to do that on this app. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it on Facebook. Why? Because everybody's there. Everybody's right. there. And so it's this one cycle <clears throat> of, you know, I came on to, I came on to stereo and I started looking at, I, I've been on it for, for a little while, just exploring, exploring. Mm -hmm. And I didn't find out one person from our community on it. Now I'm sure there was one or two, right? but I didn't find anybody that was on it at all, you know? Mm -hmm. And that showed, you know, other people would keep it quiet. I didn't think that was important. I didn't think that was a good idea. I wanted to, I wanted to find a way to introduce it to people. And I'm learning too. Like there's a lot of shit, like shit's, shit's going to happen. I'm going to be pressing buttons and I'll, I'll probably lose you, but I'm new to it too. But I think it's right. a great opportunity. And I think it's a great networking platform for our community, for us to step in. And since it's so new, uh, like it, it's, you know, the sky's the limit. No, everybody's still chasing Facebook. Don't get me wrong. I love Facebook. Right. I love Instagram. But this is a great platform. And I want to know, you know, how people, you know, especially the people that are active in the genre, how they're using social media for whatever, whatever they're into, whether they're managers, producers, songwriters, dancers, artists, how are they using social media for for their benefit? How are they using it towards, are they on it just to chill out? Or is there a strategic plot behind their involvement? Hold on one second, we got a message, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why are your emojis so freaking perfect? <laughs> I miss you guys. <laughs> because we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm glad I saw when you um, I saw it when you joined it. And uh, hey, Suzanne, I, I got I was excited. I'm glad to see you on here. This is perfect for you. This this uh this platform, you know. Now you know, the world you. is perfect. Now the world is perfect. The three of us back together. The three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know what? Hey, you know what's so funny? Okay, so we have Suzanne on, right? For those who don't know, little little Susie. Okay. We have her on the line now. You talk mm -hmm. about someone who uses social media.